Now at 5.30, a local team of people going to bat to raise awareness for ALS. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler takes us to East Granby, where stars are shining brightly for a very special cause. We just roll the star through the whitewash. This is the Star Factory. Since 2019, Chris Owens has made big white light up stars. Voila. His own experience with loss gave him the idea to make something with a purpose. I decided to make like 12 of these big ones and put them all around the house so it was light during time of uh, darkness. But recently, these stars gained a whole new purpose. The idea is you look up, we all look up at the stars, doesn't matter where you are in the world. They bind us together, they give us hope. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, it's hope for Sarah, it's hope for to find a cure. Sarah Langs is a 29 year old ESPN analyst. In 2021, she was diagnosed with ALS. A close friend and colleague of Langs, Carl Ravitch, wanted to do something for Sarah. Ravitch says one man came to mind, the star man. I went to him and I said, I have this idea. Like, what, what if we named the stars for this purpose? Owens and Ravitch married two ideas and the Langs star was born. At the factory, they're pumping out over 10,000 stars. Starting tomorrow, you can purchase a star for Sarah. All of the money raised will go to Project ALS, an organization close to Lang's heart. They'll hopefully shine a light on ALS and get much needed funding for it. June 2nd is Lou Gehrig's day and the Mets mega fan will be heading to City Field. There's nobody bigger as far as somebody that roots for, watches every single pitch of every single game and has made a living on it. On Friday night, all regional broadcasters will have a Lang star hanging up inside of their booth. Lang will be throwing the first pitch and saying the words, play ball. It's a dream for any baseball lover. In East Granby at the Star Factory, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.